Hello, quick video on Epiphone Les Paul um, build quality, uh, what it looks like inside the cavity at the back, potentiometers, all that good stuff. Um, I wanted to show you that because um, I know that sometimes Epiphone come under fire for the quality of some of their stuff. They have done in the past. I think the quality is getting really great now. Um, but anyway, this is my Epiphone Les Paul Traditional Pro, um, which in itself is a very nice guitar. I wanted, I was looking inside because I was going to switch out the um, pots on another guitar. And I was having a look at how it was done, um, how all the wiring was, was done and the soldering, etc. was done in this one. Because it's also got the split coils. Um, as you can see, it's pretty neat in here. Um, you know, it's not a spaghetti junction. It looks all quite nice. You've got full size pots in there. Um, it all looks quite nicely done. Those are the split coils there for you. And um, the wiring is quite clean. The soldering work is quite clean. Um, the overall cavity um, is very nicely finished off. It really looks very good in here. Um, and that is versus the guitar that I'm about to start working on, which I wanted to use as comparison, because then you can see what something looks a little bit horrible um looks like so you really know then you'll be in a you know much better position if you start criticizing epiphone or if you think epiphone is great or whatever your opinion is you'll just have a bit more of a view um so that's what the epiphone looks like looks pretty decent overall not too bad um and here's the guitar that i'm about to um start working on um to me this looks pretty grisly um now, I know small pots are not a necessarily an indication of quality, um, but obviously the finishing in here, you can see there's a giant sort of chip out of the, um, the woods of where the, um, where the socket's gone in. Um, a bit more there, the chip's come off. Um, obviously, there's no shielding in here. It's not really clear whether there's shielding in the Epiphone, in fairness. You can't tell because it's all black, but it's certainly, um, it's quite nicely um, routed and it looks decent in there. Um, this one it looks pretty um well looks pretty horrible um soldering works not exactly particularly clean you can see where um you know it's just kind of run over sort of big blobs and as i say spaghetti junction in, in here um capacitors okay fine um this is what i'm going to work with for now i'm about to install some fleor pickups into this guitar this is a um this is an sg style guitar by stag um i would i'll post a review of this guitar as well um it's actually this to be fair the guitar the way it feels and the tune is that kind of stuff the actual build of the neck and the body um it's really fantastic i really like this guitar um i had high hopes when i opened it up but it does look pretty nasty um from my perspective the pots do actually work quite well um i'm going to have a fun old time making sure that i do not um uh, mess anything up in here when i'm desoldering and resoldering i'm gonna have to be very careful with moving around these sort of small wires on this um it wouldn't be the same case on the epiphone you know you've got nice chunky wires quite clear where everything's going and it's it's nicely done in here it's um this would be easy to um to mess about with there isn't really um too much concern about sort of you know burning any wires you don't want to, don't want to or you know so um, this is what it looks like. So I just thought I'd do a comparison of an Epiphone and a much um, cheaper guitar, just so you can sort of get an idea of, um, you know, Epiphone quality these days. I've got nothing for or against Epiphone. You know, if Epiphone mucks something up, um, I'll be quick to say so as well. So far, my experience with Epiphones has been um, very pleasurable. I've, I really enjoy playing my Epiphones. I think um, compared to my Gibson, um, they're really, really solid guitars. I enjoy playing them a lot. Um, but obviously, um, this one, this one, I'm changing, I'm changing some of this around because, uh, these pickups are frankly, uh, just very muddy and dull. I will do a sound demo of those as well, but that will be, oh, that'll be separate videos, but I just, for this one, just to look inside and, um, yeah, you can see what you're dealing with in, you know, should we say uh, it's, it's a far, far cheaper guitar, this one. Um, it's probably a good half or a third of the price new. Um, compared to that Epiphone. So there you go. That's what you might expect. You don't know. Um, it depends on the manufacturer, it depends on the guitar. Um, but this is what's inside this particular stag. So it is what it is. I actually think the stag is in its in itself a fantastic guitar. Um, I think it's really good. Um, but um, this, the insides of this do need probably, um, you know, I, I probably will at some point change some of this. For now, I'm going to use it. What's, what's here? 
and I'm going to wire up the pickups and um, yeah, we'll see what we end up with. So there you go. That's a quick video for you on um, inside a couple of guitars, um, inside particularly this Epiphone, which I think does look really nice. Um, I think I've done a nice job in there. And um, there you go. All right. Well, I'll see you next one. Cheers, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Bye.